All right, it's test drive time again, a 1967 Catalina. We're gonna go down the road. It's got a uh, 5.7 350 in it. You can see aluminum radiator, a lot of aftermarket stuff, a little set of horns, AC supposed to work. Nice set of pipes on it. It's like chrome alternator. Battery's got some pretty hardcore connections there. Power steering. Looks like drum brakes all the way around. But I'm gonna take it down the road for a test drive, point out any kind of flaws that I can find. When we get back, I'll do a walk around on the outside and point out any kind of flaws in this paint job. Let's go for this ride. Here we go. It's got a lot of lights and stuff in it. I think there's a switch right here beside the radio that cuts those lights on and off. There's also a, a trunk switch right here behind the gauges. I mean, you can feel it, and I'm not going to hit it because I have to get out and shut it. But when we get back from the test drive, I'm going to do a walk around. I'll pop it and show you the buttons under there. It's got a few gauges. The car hasn't had time to warm up yet. Uh, first gauge is your temp. Second is your battery. And third is your oil pressure. It's showing 40 pounds on the oil pressure. Got a lot of aftermarket stereo stuff in here. There's a little bass knob over here. Uh, a little power bass equalizer under the dash. Some tweeters down there. Some Alpine speakers in the back. I'm gonna look around on this dash here. It's showing 69,000 miles. Of course, motor's been changed out. There's a horn button. Horn does work. All right, we're gonna take off down the road. I noticed this window here does not have any tint on it. All the windows all the way around the car do, except for this one. Let's see if we have a seat belt. Yeah, this thing ain't working too well. Let me try it again. It'll be all right. Oh yeah, she feels like a boat. Was nice and smooth. The car pulls to the right when I let go of the steering wheel pretty dramatically. Speedometer is coming up, so that is working. Our gas gauge looks like it's floating around. It's showing three quarters of a tank. I'm going to say it is working. The tip gauge still has not moved. I feel like it should have came up a little bit. hesitation in that carburetor too. Well, it's kind of going away now. It may just be the fact that she's not warmed up. We'll try these brakes out. Definitely tell their drum brakes. They don't stop the fastest, so you give yourself time in between people. They work, and they work like they're supposed to. Fine. They just, they're not disc brakes. They're not like the new cars. Getting a little rattling from these windows here. That one on that side's doing the same. If I push on it, it stops. Lights kind of give it a good aspect. They got the same lights up under the hood. Uh, it's got neons or something under the carriage. I haven't been able to figure out how to cut them on. I don't know if they're still hooked up. Uh, this car used to have a system in the trunk. The guy took all that out that had it prior. There's a power cap back there. And all the wires are back there, so you can easily hook it back up if you had your own. Looks like our turn signals are working on the dash here. Hesitation at guard. 
just shut her off. I was trying to make it do it though. Blooded it out. One thing I just noticed, I rolled down this window earlier, which it's up right now, and uh, when I went to roll it back up, it was leaning like this, it is off track. Once you get it all the way up, it's fine where it's at, but this window's gonna have to be put back on track. I'm gonna put y'all up in the driver's seat here. I kind of call them that window squeak down over here on the other side, the one y'all heard half the first of the video. I just had to roll the window up a little bit tighter and it stopped. Still a little bit of vibrating noises coming from the panel over there. Like I said, the main issue on this car is it pulls to the right. It needs a front end alignment. Those guys get way ahead. They're riding with their foot on the brake the whole time. See that hesitation that's in that car. The kick down's not hooked up on this one. The car definitely has a little bit of a stutter to it. way back to the lot now. All right, we're back 
of the lot now. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. If you like my video, please check out the walk around. I did a walk around of this car as well. I do it on every single car on the car lot here. If you wanna check out our inventory, go to maplemotors.com. I got 100 detailed pictures of this car, financing information and transportation on getting these cars anywhere around the US. We have shipped out of the country before. We don't like to do that a whole lot. We like to keep them here in the States. But just give us a call, 615-822-4444. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I post videos like this every day and you can see uh, multiple cars a day. And we buy about 10 a month or so, or 10 a week. We buy about 30 cars a month, so. I appreciate y'all watching.